Diana Denmark here, rah, rah, rah. happy Wednesday morning, I hope you're fine and well. It is dull and grey in Copenhagen this morning, probably some rain on the way. But hey ho, you know what I say, well, we make our own sunshine, I've got the candles going so it's all going to be good. So what are we going to be talking about today? Well, I know some of you love your shoes and have huge shoe collections, uh, some of you love your handbags, but, but me, I love my um, jewellery and I love my scarves. And I've had a lot of questions recently asking me how to tie my scarves. If, if you follow me, um, if you're following me here on, on YouTube or on Instagram, uh, I, I post pictures of my outfit of the day. And quite often, um, if I'm not wearing a necklace, it will be a scarf. Uh, I find it's a really easy way just to give me a bit of a uh, pop of colour, you know, whether it's something red or, or an otherwise, uh, you know, just basic outfit of uh, cream and navy. Um, but also I use them <laughs> because they're very practical living here in Denmark. Of course, the weather, it can uh, keep, keep us warm. Um, also, uh, I, I don't normally wear a v-neck. So usually if I'm wearing this kind of v-neck uh, sweater, I would wear something, you know, maybe a coloured blouse underneath, but I can get away with it if I add a little scarf at my neck. Um, and I'll also, uh, so what, what I'm going to do is I'll just show you quickly um, the basic ways that I tie my scarves. I've got some different sizes and shapes and also the scarves that I wear with my uh, winter coats. Uh, and I, I like to con marry my things, uh, obviously not perfectly. I, I like the wee fringes sticky out because I think it looks fun. Um, but I find it really easy to, to find my to, to find exactly what I'm looking for. So so that's how I, I do the storage of them. Anyway, uh, well, I've also got a kind of a more blanket scarf that, that uh, I wear a lot. So let let's dive in there. Um, first one is a usual um, square scarf. Now you get these in all different sizes. Hold on, and, and I love anything, you know, with polka dot. See, now that's why I, I don't like wearing uh, v-necks normally because I've got quite a small chest. So that's why I like uh, things that come up high because it usually shows off I've got good um, arms and shoulders, but I always feel I'm like a scrawny chicken here. But as I said, uh, I, I can use a v-neck if I've got a, a scarf or something else. Uh, usually, usually I wear a t-shirt or blouse underneath. Anyway, so here, here's a square scarf. Da, da, da. And then all I do is uh, make it into a triangle. And then let me see if I can do this. Hold on. Put down the camera a wee bit. Whoops. Uh, and then I, I'm just going to fold in the point and then kind of roll it down a bit. So the point is not going to come out because uh, that's not the point. <laughs> so, so you've not suddenly got a, a bit sticking out in the middle. And then either, uh, and it'll depend on your stature, what kind of bust you have, or what kind of uh, thing you're already wearing, how narrow or uh, thin you want to go. If you want to go really thin with the scarf, just give it a wee twist like that. See, it could be like that, but I actually prefer it a wee bit thicker, especially if I'm wearing something like this. There we are. So I, I just kind of pull it tight, and then I just do a one, and a two. Now here you can decide how much you know, if you want to look like a film star in the Riviera from the 1950s, uh, I quite like that style. Or, or if it's too much for you, just give it another wee go there. Hold on. There we are. Or, and if you're really not uh, feeling confident in the beginning, you can just do that and you've got a little tiny knot. There you go. Right, on to the next one. Uh, and let me just change because I'm really not too happy about standing here with my, my v-neck on. I'll put on a plain white uh, sweater and, and this is an idea that you can use of course with any uh, white t-shirt that you've got. Just hold on, I'll just put it on. Right, I'm just wearing a, a very basic white um, sweater. Uh, these, these are one of the Zara basic ones that I use a lot. I'm, I'm not really into t-shirts unless it's like a graphic t-shirt. Uh, but. The, the square scarves, obviously they come in different shapes and size, uh, well, different uh, sizes. And I'll just show you, you may find that this is one of the bigger ones. Uh, and also, you know, you can, uh, if you're not too confident about wearing them in the beginning, you know, add them onto your, uh, just put them around your, your handbag or, you know, also in France, they use it a lot as, um, you can thread it through as a belt. 
But I'll just show you with this one. Now, this is a larger size. This is one of my uh, favourite ones. A nice one in silk. But remember, you can get all the, you know, polyester, any kind. I'm just going to do the same again. And this is a slightly larger one than the red one. So you may feel that um, you have to go around twice instead of just tying it once and going down. But of course, you could go bigger. Like this is how my mum would wear her scarf like in the, I don't know, in the 1970s where you'd have a lot come, coming down. Um, but I find it's easier just to go around twice and, and twice. And there we go. And then also then you can start kind of playing about with the uh, design of where you want it to fall. But I love this one and also because it goes with um, so many of my uh, basic uh, cardigans. And I've also got a lot of things in uh, kind of baby blue. So, so that, you know, instantly you've got, here we are, just show you. Instantly you've got a nice little outfit just by adding a scarf and just instead of just a plain old uh, sweater and t-shirt. And then, hold on, let me get another one. Say you've got um, just like a plain blue uh, sweater, um, you know, cardigan to put on top. Uh, and also well, ones that have got a bit of pattern on it. Those are really good because you can adjust it, of course, according to the pattern. But here's one here in nice uh, Dressing Your Truth type one colors. And this one, of course, I could fold it that way. Here we are. Uh, and that would really show uh, the, the blues in it, or I could go the other way and it shows the pinks. So you can have a lot of fun with your scarves. Uh, but I, I really love the ones with polka dots, as you can see. And I've also got some other shapes. I'll just show you. These are, okay, these are squares. Now, these are long ones that I have had for years and years and years. Now, you'll have seen me wearing this one a lot with a green sweater that I have. I'll try and put up some pictures on the side here. Uh, this one I, I, I've worn a lot during the uh, winter season and this is exactly the same scarf. Sometimes when, when I, I find something I really love then I, then I get in two colours. Right, here, here's a, a lilac one and you can see it's a long thin scarf. I'm just going to see if I can find out where this one came from. Ah, I've cut off the label. Uh, and, and this one um, you know, in, in like the 19, probably in the 1970s, they would do that kind of uh, uh, droopy, droopy style. But I quite like to make it into, um, do a, a, a big flamboyant bow. There we are. Now, th this is really kind of, uh, it may be a bit uh, too much for you, but uh, I, I really like the, the big flamboyant things. Of course, because I have a, a smaller chest. If you've got a, a larger chest, you probably don't want to go for anything that's going to uh, fo focus in on uh, th this area here. But I, I really like uh, making a, a big bow of things, especially if you've got like a plain uh, navy dress. I've got uh, a couple of plain navy dresses in my wardrobe. Uh, it's a great way just to make it look different, you know, wear it twice in the same week, the same dress. And nobody's going to notice because they're going to say, oh, that's a nice uh, uh, accessory she's wearing. Uh, on to the next one. Okay, so we're going up in size now. You may have one of these uh, really big, uh, huge uh, squares. Uh, this is what I kind of uh, Hermes uh, copycat one. And um, I'll do the same thing in. And, and then this is how uh, the deans uh, usually wear it. Uh, again, into a triangle. And then we're just going to do it, it's, it's like a bib, imagine, so you've got the, the V pointing down at the front, there we go, and then round the back, and then cross over, and then what you do is, hold on, let me if you can manage to cut the labels off your scarf, that's great, sometimes it's not always possible without damaging the fabric, and then we're just going to tie it at the front, just do a little knot there, and then what the deans normally do is that, because the deans in general, they, they like to have um, a, a lot of volume up here. And then you can kind of uh, arrange it so you actually see the pattern. So it actually becomes part of your, uh, part, part of the top that you're wearing. And of course you can put a little jacket on so you would only see the scarf and that gives you a, a wee bit of uh, extra uh, animation if you're looking for that as a type one in the dressing your truth system oh and i'll just show you what it would look like if you were wearing a, a navy jacket and of course you you could 
have it out or have it in but you see it just kind of uh, becomes a kind of print top instead of being a scarf anyway let, let me get on with the um, blanket scarf now I'm in uh, one of my clothes um, swap party sweaters and also got some of the um, bracelets at clothes swap party my little silk camisole underneath that came from a, a Swedish charity shop uh, in, in Denmark, uh, we, we again, we like to use the blanket scarves and have a lot of volume up top. Remember, be, be careful with this, it'll depend on your stature where, where you want things to fall. But, but, but this is one uh, that I, I really love and I've, you've seen me wearing it in a lot of videos. Super warm and I wear it inside and outside. I, I, I wear it with a winter coat and also wear it inside when it's cold. Uh, and it's in some great type 1 dressing your truth colours because you'll see in a minute I've actually got a, a, a sweater in this colour it goes really well with right once again we're doing a triangle Ooh, you see that triangle and again I'm doing the same as I did with the huge um, scarf just before I'm going over the shoulders round the back and this is a huge scarf but it's super warm and soft because Vibika keeps on saying oh, I love this scarf and I say yeah it's mine you're not you're not getting it and then again round the front tie it and you may want to go that way or that way I always like to tie it on, on that side I don't know if that's because I'm left-handed or not and then you can just kind of play about with it uh, as much as you as you want but this is oh, <laughs> Especially as it's a kind of cold grey day today, I, I think I might keep this one on. Anyway, uh, let me just show you it with a different uh, colour way, but you can see, and the, the little point you have that down at the front, at least that's how we kind of wear it in Denmark. But let me just change, and with a snap of my fingers, here I'm wearing, this is another clothes swap uh, sweater in a coral colour, cashmere one. So uh, I've, I've had a lot of uh, wear out this scarf, it all look, also looks really good with navy. So let me show you some um, scarves with my one of my winter coats. Right, I've just got one of my plain navy winter coats on. I actually had this one on yesterday when I cycled down for a swim. And the seat, there we are. And, and the same thing, so it's super, super warm. Uh, and also when I'm cycling, it's good because I can pop it right over my nose. Uh, I have asthma, so Whenever there's kind of a big difference in temperature, especially in winter mornings, I wear a buff or I wear my scarf over my nose when I'm cycling and it makes it a much nicer experience. I also use my buff when I am out running. That, that helps for asthma too. Anyway, um, let me just show you a different couple of normal winter scarves, not these big huge uh, blanket ones. Right, so this is my, uh, these are my winter ones, um, and this one was from a Swedish charity shop, the turquoise one, uh, the white one was a clothes swap item, the coral coloured one, Vibika found that one for me at um, a public clothes swap, and uh, that, the, the pale blue, that was a clothes swap item and, and the navy is one that I've had for years, it's a, it's a great basic especially if I'm wearing uh, a kind of lighter coloured jacket and I'm feeling that I'm getting too kind of carried away with the fairies uh, I, I love the navy just to ground me again I've got the navy coat on right now so uh, I tell you what, shall we... let's go for the pink I've had a lot of coral so far today, let's go for the pink and this is a long scarf let me show you uh, this is a woolen scarf you can see the size of it and what we'd normally do is uh, just kind of fold it <clears throat> three this ways so I've not got the kind of uh, sharp edges blunt edges showing and and once again do the same thing hold on let me just put down my collar uh, and I'll just go around once and twice and sometimes if I've got a really long scarf I'll go around once more let me just get that in there and again we, we like to have the volume away up there like when I play my music I always have the, the volume up to 11 boom boom um, and, and again when, when I'm cycling I'll kind of open it up a bit so I can um, cover my nose so perhaps in these uh, crazy days right now, you, you, you may need to be wearing something to cover your nose. Right, uh, anyway, 
I feel so nice and cozy. I think I'm just going to sit here for the rest of the day. No, I'm going to get changed back into my, my normal things uh, and I shall. I, I think I'm probably going to go for the blanket scarf today because it is a wee bit uh, chilly here in the house. Uh, and I'm going to be uh, cycling down for a swim with Vivica and Helena later this afternoon. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and one other thing, have we got time for one other? Yes, we do. Hold on, let me just take this off. Well, one of the other things that I, I've done to use a scarf in a different way is thread it through a necklace. Now I'll, I'll put the picture up here, but basically what I did was, and I took my scarf, it was, uh, if I remember earlier, it was this one, and I did it into the triangle again, and then kind of rolled it together, and then turned it a couple of times so it was really thin, and then I threaded it through the necklace, and then this is one that I got at a, a Danish charity shop. It was actually three strands. I've had a lot of use of it as my necklace. It's actually made of a kind of a hard plastic. And you can actually, if I push there, you can actually open up the links. There we go. Ooh. And what I did was I threaded it through the links and then I could make a kind of scarf uh, necklace. Anyway, I'll try and put a picture there so you can see me wearing it. But... Um, have a play around maybe you've got an old uh, chain necklace or maybe a chain belt remember the, uh, I, th I think i've still got some chain belts um and, and you could thread a, a um one of your scarves through that you know just just to uh, change things a bit without spending any money <laughs> and you know me and I, I, I like to get as many of my clothes as possible at clothes swaps or at charity shops and uh, let, let's recycle those things so I'm going to get my necklace back together uh, and all I've got left to say to you is live long and prosper, may the Danish figure be with you. This is a wee candle holder that I got from my niece many years ago. It's got my name on it, it says Diane, look at that. Um, and I shall uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, bye for now.